Okay, so the first thing we will do is <clears throat> enable editing, like so. Um, step one, open and resave a presentation. Click the file tab. Okay, so it's kind of step one is opening this up. Uh, you can actually go through by opening up PowerPoint first and then uh, going through and opening up this file directly or if you download it in a browser you can click on the browser and then the name of the PPTX file and it'll open it up to here. So let's um, Okay, step number two, change the bullets for additional emphasis. Display slide number two. Select the bulleted text. Okay, click the bullets drop down arrow, home tab, paragraph group. Select the bullet to numbering. Okay. Change the font size to 80. Okay, click the color button. We want orange. Accent six. Okay. Click the customize button. <coughs> Scroll down the font list and select Wingdings three. Okay, select the black right pointer, pointing pointer. If you're not sure, you can also, I'm not sure, so it tells us that the character code is 117. Okay, so it's that one. Okay, click OK. Click OK. So as you can see, it changed it there. Step number three, reuse slides from another presentation to follow slide two. Click the new slide drop down arrow. And select reuse slides. Here, review slides. Okay, now this is where it can get a little tricky. The file that I downloaded, I did the file download thing here, and we get a zip file. So you can go to open, and here is a file, a couple of files in here. One thing you can do is for this folder is just right click click on copy and go to your downloads folder and right click click on paste and what that does is it creates a new folder with some stuff in it another uh, PowerPoint presentation and then a an image at symbol one so going back to PowerPoint we can click on browse we can go to downloads, click on this, and then click on email content and click on open. Okay. So here's the slides off to the side. And um, OK, 
Keep source formatting. Make sure this isn't selected. It's not. So we're in good shape. Uh, select the presentation. Uh, click all three slides. So we want to insert all three of these. One, two, three. Okay. And we close that out. All right, step number four, use the thumbnail pane to rearrange the six slides in this order. Okay, so we're over here. Getting results with email needs to be one. Ask these questions, there's two. Why, so we need to move this up here. So I'll select this one and then drag it up here. And then we want write a meaningful subject line that's there, organize it and keep it simple. Okay, so that's the order we need. So all I did was just really rearrange this one and dragged it up. Okay, step number five, select slide one, click the spelling button, review tab, spelling, Correct all spelling errors, receive, careless, organize, capture, response, and separate. So I want to change. I want to change that one. Organized, capture, response, and separate. Okay. Okay, close the design. Ideas pane if it opens. Okay. Step number six use Format Painter to change list bullets. So let's select slide two and select the body placeholder. This is it right here. So let's select all of this and then we want to go up to the Format Painter. We want to double click it to say that we want that same formatting. We want to apply, press page down to select the list on slide three. Uh, what I'm going to do is instead is just click on this and then click the list on slide three to apply the change. It doesn't like that. So let me go back here and let me undo that. Let me click on this to get rid of it. Let me select this again, try again. Format Painter, double click, and then I will try the page down like it suggested, and then I will double click the format. Uh, and click the list on slide three. Well, it's not doing it. I wonder why. Okay, selecting it did it. Okay, now I want to do the same thing on four. So I'll highlight everything. There we go. Five everything okay there we go so now hit escape to end the formatting okay now we want to insert a picture so select slide number six okay to delete the picture on the right so we'll select this and then press delete Click the insert tab, and then we want to um, click the pictures button. And then what we want to do then is go to where we have that file we unzipped. Click this, click on insert. OK. Click the thumbnail similar to the layout in 
figure 1-112. One so now we need to resize this a little bit so it looks like the picture. So that's kind of close. I probably still need to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So something about like that. And then we can close the design ideas pane if it's open. OK. Select the picture on slide 6 and click the Alt Text button. It's under the picture format. So alternate text, here we go. And then we want to delete any text that appears automatically. There's nothing there. I want to type a person showing notebook features. What this is really for the alt text is if somebody's blind or has trouble seeing, the alt text gives them, tells them what the picture kind of represents. So now we want to close this, select the title text, keep it short. Up here it is, it's kind of hard to see. So select that, click the font color, OK, and we want orange, accent 6, there we go, so it's a lot easier to see. OK, step number 9, apply one transition and effect option to all slides, click the transact transition slat tab. Click the switch, switch transition from the gallery, so switch, 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 there we go, switch, okay, click the effects option, and we want it to choose left, okay, click the apply to all, Okay, step number 10, preview the presentation in both slide order and slide show views. Click the slide short sorter button in the status bar. Slide sorter button. Okay, click, uh, press control A to select all. Click preview. So we click preview, it shows us what it's going to look like, one screen at a time. Okay, select the first slide and click the slideshow button. Okay. And now it's going to show us one slide at a time. Double click. So click the button once to go through each of these one at a time. OK. And double click to get back here. Step 11, change presentation properties. Click the file tab. Info, oh, we're already on the info, click the properties, advanced properties, okay, and the title, we want getting results with email, subject is writing, Author is your name. Any comments? Is this presentation is for the new hire seminar? OK. 
Okay. All right, step 12, print slides as a handout. Go to print. Select whatever printer you have. Now, you don't really need to print this out, uh, but just kind of goes through uh, that we want to set this to print all sides. Uh, we want six slides, horizontal, frame slides, scale, okay, print order, orientation, and grayscale. Okay, and then we would click print if we wanted to, but we won't do that, no need to print. Okay, we'll save and close the presentation, and that is it.